All right, people. So one thing I really like about the festival, right, is it, it gives the opportunity for first time directors to show off what they can do. Right. And you're able to see this, you know, just complete different array of content, you know, whether it's thrillers, dramas, comedy, you know, stuff that defies the genres. Uh, it's always interesting. And so we get to see Marcus Morales' feature debut, All Is Vanity. So Marcus, he wrote, directed, and produced a piece. Uh, the music is from Tristan Sua. Yeah, I believe that's right. Cinematography is Murat Urshin. It's edited by Damon Tetlebom. Costume design is Phoebe Shu Ching Chang. Uh, makeup is Carolina Pochut. Um, yeah, that's about the uh, the back end crew, and then our cast. We have Sid Phoenix. He plays the photographer. We've got Yazin Aruzi. Um, he plays the intern. Isabel Bonfrey plays the model. We've got um Rosie Steele. As the makeup artist, Christopher Sherwood's in it, uh, David Sayers, Sam Halpenny, and Jonathan Harden. All right, so uh, yeah, that's our cast. And the gist of the film is this an eccentric photographer, his eager assistant a jaded makeup artist, and a bored model gather for a fashion shoot in a London warehouse. But when one of their number disappears, events take a turn for the bizarre. Beginning as a deft lo-fi satire um, of the hipster fashion world before continually morphing into something different, Across its short, breathless runtime. Um, yeah. I mean, I always respect people trying different things. You know what I mean? Even if you feel it works or it doesn't, right? It, it's trying to be different, right? I did not, man, I didn't like the Star Wars trilogies. Any of them, to be honest, <laughs> whether it was the Lucas ones or the recent ones. But I will say, right, the middle film shot by uh, uh, Ryan. Uh, God damn it. He he then went on and did. Uh, <laughs> uh, knives out, knives out, knives out. Ryan, ugh, I say I want to say Johnson, but I don't know if I don't think that's right. But we'll say Ryan Johnson just for now, right? I liked, I you know, I, mean, I didn't like the film in general, but I liked the fact that it tried different shit, right? It it did stuff that wasn't necessarily your typical Star Wars stuff, right? They played around with the story. Right, I enjoyed that. I, I thought that was great. You know, and I think with all his vanity, it's trying some different things, right? It's all shot on a single location, essentially. Right? We 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 have a mm, two other locations, I feel, right? Outside makeup room in the main room. Yeah, I think that's basically it. But yeah, it's very, it's very, uh, you know, confined generally. All right, so we start off our photographer and his intern, you know, they, they show up, they sign the lease, they get the room, 
and then it's waiting for other people to turn up, right? And we see, yeah, the the makeup artists arrive, and then eventually the model does, and it's it's kind of I look at like the fashion industry, I guess, right? That's what I thought it was all gonna be, right? The, this kind of microscopic look at, right? Poking fun at, you know what I mean? Showing the the four balls of all of this. It's not though. <laughs> like 45 minutes in, I believe it is, it, it kind of then takes a, a 180. Then about, uh, I'd say, 10 minutes later, it takes another swerve. So you're like, wait, what? You know what I mean? And I thought, oh, the first, you know what I mean? The first twist, I didn't mind too much just because there were some things within the film itself that you're just like, eh? That doesn't necessarily like. Why would they bring that into it, right? Why well, there's a point where um our intern makes a discovery, and it's a bit random, right? It's a bit random, especially for UK. You feel me? So that was a bit like. Mm. So yeah, when we then completely shift it, yeah, like, okay, all right. We, we can, you know, if we're then just kind of doing something on this, that kind of makes more sense, right? Because it's just like, yes, these are the stupid things that we do sometimes, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, then it becomes something completely different, which, yeah, then makes it a little weird, right? It makes it a little weird. Although, when we do our first, we then do veer off, right, into breaking the fourth wall. And, it, and it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know, right? I don't know. I, I, I mean, we, we watch a lot of different sort of things, right? And I do enjoy the indie stuff, right? Low budget, you know, because you can still tell a good story, right? If the story is strong, budget, it doesn't always matter, right? It doesn't always matter, right? Give me a solid script, over, you know, bangs and whistles, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I don't know if the script here is overly strong. I think it, it could maybe have done with some edits, you know what I mean? They, like, Marais has split the film up into kind of four chapters. So we got Nice to Meet You, we open with that. Then what do we have? Uh, oh yes, uh, what really happened to Anastasia, sinking ships, and last night, right, there are four chapters, I did, that. so, one thing I did think they were gonna do, which they don't, right, and I was like, ah, I, I thought we were gonna play with this, so, you know, we had the intern make tea, um, at the beginning of the film, right? There's two occasions where he makes tea, and we see the cup, right? See the cup, they put in a tea bag and then pour the water. But before anything goes into the cup, we're looking down at it, so you see a message in the bottom of the cup, right? Now, um, I think the first one said something along the lines of... Um, I think you're very nice. Something like that. And then the second one is, you've been poisoned. Which, eh, a bit, but, you know, it could be a bit abstract, right? A metaphor for something. But, yeah, I, I thought throughout the film, we might have, you know, tea breaks 
and then these kind of like little abstract statements. But no, that, that that's not what we got, which was a shame. I even really thought that could be fun. But uh, yeah, and so our film is kind of split up and we, you know, you, you think because, you know, so we have this intern, like straight away it's just like, you know, the photographer's just like, uh, oh, be careful, London, it's not for everyone. And it is funny because um, something like that was said in Last Night in Soho, right? And I kind of feel you could say that about any big city, right? <laughs> you could say that about any big city or anywhere you go. This might not be for you. Right, I, I remember just going to um, Bath. I thought Bath is lovely. That city ain't for me, man. Shit just shuts way too early. Way too early. And there's not enough there. Right, not enough there. There's not enough options for me to be like, yeah, I could stay here. You know? So, yeah, that's not for me. Right, and that's the thing. There's a lot of places which you look at, but yeah, it's it's weird. It's weird how it's always said, like in this context. But um, so we have that, and they're talking about, you know, career. Right, the cover letter gets brought up a lot, and you think, okay, so it, it might be this thing where we we kind of talk about naivety, you know, the way a system can break people down. Right, you've that might be the, the 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 thrust of this piece, right? This look at the fashion world, but it's not really, you know. And we get some very weird statements. It's like out of nowhere, there's a conversation. It's just like a like, just don't walk through the door, Luke. You know, he's talking about opportunities and, or be ready to walk through the door, something like that. And it's a, or round about like opportunities, right? Be ready for those opportunities and don't miss out. But they, it came out of nowhere, right? That's the thing. Sometimes some of the conversation doesn't quite flow. Now, the way it is presented, though, Right, it is fine because you know we we have this shoot and it's over so many hours and all of this kind of thing. So sometimes we kind of step into moments, right? So a conversation has been taking place and we've kind of come in at the tail end, or you know they they're just about to start talking about something now and it kind of revere over there. You know what I mean? So that I don't mind. But it's just I felt the conversations that the characters were having didn't really feel real a lot of the times. You know? Like at the beginning we start off with an intern who's kind of a bit more reserved but then we have him making jokes about someone being possibly on coke and shit like that and you just think I don't know if the character we saw at the beginning is 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 making those quips you know what I mean it is just a bit like I don't know man I don't know oh dear and then um yeah, so we take, you know, our first shift, our first big shift in the story. So there's a, there's a lot of arguments and conversations around, um, let's say, script, right? But you kind of then feel that's all well and good, but... That's not the place to say it. You know what I mean? And, and and so it's like you're you're doing a thing and you're trying to present this as 
But then you have everyone acting in a way that you're like, you know, people don't do, wouldn't be doing that on set, right? Or if they are, they're assholes. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not being helpful. Now, it's all well and good to in your trailer. Or, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, like, do whatever. But disrupting, yeah, that, that's a bit funky. It's a bit funky. I don't know, man. But yeah, then we break the full floor in this weird way that really feels out of place. <laughs> it really feels out of place and weird. You know, like there's a complaint about a certain line, but to be honest, that's not the worst line in the film. <laughs> it's not the worst line in the film. So it's just like, all right, if you're going to complain about that, then what about some of the other fare? How about some of that? Right now, our second shift it then you know really puts the cat amongst the pigeons. But I kind of felt there's a lot of assumptions being made without then any sort of clarifying the situation, you know. So, yeah, I don't know, man. It, it's a bit of an it's an odd, it is odd. But as I said, I respect the fact that the attempts were made. You know what I mean? That they were like, you know what? We're going to try something a little different. You know, we don't want to just do your standard fare. Let's, uh, let's do a thing. So, yeah, I respect that. You know what I mean? And so, right, you might not have caught the film today. It was at the uh, Curzon Soho. Very nice. But you might be able to see it on the 13th of October. It's Wednesday. I guess you could have figured that one out, right? It's showing at quarter past three. You know what I mean? 3.15. Um, so, yes, it, it's kind of midday-ish. And as of right now, it says it's sold out is an NFT free, which is one of the smaller screens. I do like the screen though, right? Do like that. The studio is fun as well. But as said before, you know, um, there's often times return. So if you want to see this, you want to check it out. You want to support, you know, I mean, local indie independent fair. I didn't really need to say indie then independent because they both mean the same thing. Yeah, I get that. I understand. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to do that, yeah, go check on the day because it returns, people. Returns. All right. But uh, yeah, all links are in the episode uh, details. We've got their Instagram, you know, their Facebook, right? Uh, the website. So Hey, go follow if if you like what you see. If you see, you know what I mean, like uh, promise in what you see. Follow them, right? Keep track. See what they're gonna be doing next. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, all is vanity. It is. Uh, it's different, right? It's very different. So. I don't know, man. Roll that dice. See what you think. <laughs>